Welcome back to Age of Wonders 4, where we're trying to get the Grey Achievement. And we are with some halflings and led by the Wandering Wonder River, the Shepherd. And we have some watchers in our outpost sitting there that we need to go take care of. And we will do just that momentarily. And after that, we might check the Haunted Graveyard and see what we can do about that. But we took the layer of silk, so that's already something nice to help us on our way. And we have some new troops, some new recruits from the side there. A new spell needs some. Oh, yeah. Tome of Warding. I feel this. I feel this. I think we'll go for the Tome of Warding. Because this is kind of the, the whole theme so far. Our hero just keeps defending them. So, Mark of Invulnerability. That's definitely something that, that they would cast, I think. All right, let's get them some pastures. As we would do. And we definitely need to set our friend here, Thistle Kingfisher, to be... The governor. All right, and we can set some production, and I think we'll start with workshop because that helps with further production. And after that, we're gonna start making, you know, some beer. Uh, we can an annex another thing, and I'm thinking of a farm triangle here. So we're gonna go with another farm, especially since that is along a river which we'll later have. A new Empire Development skill. Vassal's Grant plus 10 gold income in tribute. We don't... I'm not sure if we have that yet. Uh, we're going to go for this because we have a lot of river provinces, honestly, and rivers count as roads for the purpose of movement of our units, which is great. So we'll take this, and we'll take this. So once we do have vassals... I think these are pretty close. Uh, they give us extra income, which I, I think is a, is a good idea. All right. Let's bring these in. Like that. And we'll start... Our battle with the Watcher. Um, a bounty for whoever brings me the head of a Watcher. It is just a head. Uh, no. Our disheartened troops shall go on the attack. What exactly does that do? Minus 10 morale. Yeah, that's fine. After a tense search and long march, army comes face to face with the roaming Watchers. The sight of the terrible creatures causes fear to ripple through the halfling groves in our army. The deafening silence betrays the hesitation of our troops. The morale won't hold. It's fine. We can do it. And we'll mortar... <laughs> manual combat and auto combat turns into mortar combat. So, we'll... Manual combat is what I was going to say. Alright. So, let's survey the land. Let's survey our troops. Let's survey what we do. And I think, right, I like to build around uh, my shield units if, if I have them. So this is what we set. And now we kind of try and reinforce that position as best we can. Our knights are going to go on the sides. Oh, that's not a knight. It's a little bit difficult to tell who's selected. I wish it was clearer. I've done this mistake many a time. So, yeah. I, I, I know I mainly only got me to myself to blame there, but still, I feel it's, it's a bit of an issue. This guy goes there. Uh, these guys go there. There. And these guys go there. And uh, we'll just end it here. They'll come. Right. 
We bring in... Oh, we don't even need to move him. He, he can shoot from here. So, that's great. <laughs> He's crazy. Alright, let's bring in these boys. Just put them on the fence. Bring in these guys. As they are giant slayers, they're pretty well suited for the task. Our pikemen. And also, as they're casters, it's good to have things right on them. So they don't get the benefit of attack. And let's really surround them. We'll even bring in our skirmishes for the melee. And we'll move one spot. And these guys will move two spots. Didn't help much. Nice. And I think our hero will just end this one right there. And we'll just end the turn. This is not going to do much. He said, almost losing his archers. Um, yeah, for that, death. Yeah, that's okay. Harbringers of Misfortune Aftermath. Now that the Watchers are gone from our lands, the Halfling Growers Council contacts us again. Marvelous work, River the Shepherd. Just marvelous. We managed to contain any panic with regards to the Watcher sightings, so it seems we are in the clear. All thanks to you, of course. The Halfling Growers will hear of your victory. Perhaps our superstitious beliefs can be transformed into a virtue? The victory proves that halfling growers are true warriors. The victory shows that the halfling growers should build better defenses. This account to illustrate that my empire can dominate any foe. I think they are true warriors. That is what it shows. So, true warriors we shall make. Let's build an archer and a peasant. Right there. Right on the spot. Yes, yes. Look at those armies. Basically sprung up out of nowhere. Hmm. Alright, they join this army. And these two here join into an army. So now we have three armies already. Which is good, because we are looking to face off against some... I'm really just trying to click my hero, but he's a little bit hidden there. We're trying to face off against a dangerous foe down here in the haunted graveyard. Right, okay, so the wizard tower was built. Look at all those boosted things. It's amazing. A tithe shrine? I think so. We, we could use a little bit more mana in our world. A little bit more magic. Let's do that. Though I think next, definitely a bathhouse. They, they deserve some, some cleanliness. All right. Nothing interesting here. Well, we could go for the road building, but... That's okay. Our ruler leveled up, yes. Oh, level five. Let's start with a big skill. And they will be able to do mana unchained. What does star blades do? Plus one fire, lightning, or frost damage. And strengthened. Hmm. I think he can summon an elemental. That that that's what it feels like. Stand together, bolstering support. Feudal ruler. Yeah, let's do that. Another ruler was denounced. And we can annex another thing. What should we go for? I'm thinking a third farm, but they're no fools. They know getting the Archon blood will be helpful for them. In the long run. So we'll put a conduit on there. We can always get a farm next time. And Aegis is going to grow real quick. Ah, that's the raiding party. Uh, so, our trip south, 
must be delayed. We shall go north and defend our borders from those pesky raiders. Unacceptable, this. Another ruler was denied. Sure. Rivalry was declared on us. I don't know why. We're we're delightful. Also, we can also clear out that farm there when we're there. That was a lot of repetition in words just now. Yeah. Alright, let's get there. They might just come and attack us anyway. So, that's fine. Who needs orders? You have orders. Right, we're not recruiting anyone. That's okay. We need the money. We need to save up. So let us keep going. Should also look into special province improvements uh, all already. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, there they go. We'll manual combat this. Obviously, it's an easy battle, but... We'll see. Alright, okay. So, um, these guys can only really go there. So, there they go. Ruler follows behind, like so. The archers will go as far as they can. The pike will go as far as they can. The pike will go as far and safely as they can, please. Our... Cavalry will join this flank. Our archer ruler will go up that hill. We're going to keep the blink ability. I'm not going to use it to get in to the fray. Right, let's... Oh, oh boy. All the units we have... Did they just say ooh? All right, so they're not affected because they can fly. Let's do some bolstering stuff here. And these guys will bring down here. So we can do more bolstering stuff. And we'll end it there. All right. So you already got a good shot on their hero. I'm not even going to move you. Might as well just use it. And we'll keep working on flanking them from this side. From the flank, as you might imagine. Put these like that. But I think our ruler can go... Up there. And attack. Oh, they've missed. Well, fair enough. Let's send in the pike. As they are cavalry slayers. Let's send in these guys. Our bannermen. We'll put the skirmishes there. And they will do some skirmishing. <laughs> Didn't really get, get far with that, but that's okay. Turn like this. And we'll attack these like that. Didn't get poisoned, luckily. Could have gone wrong. This is uh, a whole lot of overkill, as you can see. But we do what we have to. And this thing is just going to go there. These guys are going to go there. And that's our turn. Alright, let's get some healing going on these guys. I'm not losing anyone in this fight. Not if I can avoid it. Oh my god. It sounded so bad. So painful. Let's 
let's go on this side first. Now let's bring in these sides. They might still do some harm. That was a good hit though. Yeah, alright. There we go. Well done, everyone. Nice little fight. So now we can take care of this in peace. The Wandering River Wonder Shepherd. Our hero, Thistle Kingfisher, kneels before us, distressed. My little brother, he went dousing for precious stones, yet never returned. And I carried it to Heart Hollow when you recruited me. He has been prospecting for precious stones and metals since he was a wee boy, carrying around an oversized dousing rod. Recently, a faraway gold vein caught his attention. Normally, my brother returns with a sizable haul within three days. Today is the eighth day since he left. This old kingfisher's eyes turned misty. You will help me find my brother. My wandering wonder. I worry for his safety. Let me mark the gold vein on your map. I will absolutely look for him. It's right up the road anyway. It's, like, it's basically where we were going. I think we'll do an auto battle. Yeah. We didn't lose anything, so worthwhile. Ring of resistance. Let's get going a little bit. You can get the ring of resistance. No, you get the inspired killer ring. Why didn't you have that? You totally should have had that. Can I please select my hero? You get the ring of resistance then. You don't need orders. You need patience. Yeah, definitely stays of warning. Makes the portabilities of enchanted units get plus two bolstered resistance to affected units. Target friendly unit gains a shield that's a, uh, that has a 60% chance to inflict stunned on attackers. I like that, but this is better. Okay, and next another province. We, of course, want to go in a direction away from our main city. So we'll take this farm, which we'll still have to free. Negotiations have succeeded, so we're kind of doing well down here with the dwarves of Castellan. An infestation is sending invading forces. Okay, things are difficult. Things are difficult for us. The south might be in danger. We'll have to see. First, we take care of all these things here. So what we're going to do... We're going to clear the silver pond. Um, we will... Go and attack like that. We will do... Oh god, it's a level 4 spider. I'm I'm scared of these big spiders because they got this uh, area of effect attack that's just really, really strong. Uh, what's this? All attacking units suffer 10 damage and have a 30% chance of suffering frozen. If it fails, the unit suffers slowing instead. Oh boy, we are the attacking. All right. Let's see. Try and set ourselves up sensibly. All right. Okay. So we're going to do this in hopes that these are going to be a little bit annoyed and worried about that instead of our units. We'll bring in the shield boys, put them to defense. Both of them, actually, like that. Our knights are going to attack from the side here. Our lancers will bring in like this, so they are a little bit away from everyone. Decreasing the likelihood of them doing their thing. 
And what do we do? We'll attack there because we get a good hit. Though they resisted the blinding, sadly. We'll bring in our archers to shoot that thing. Sadly resisted the poisoning. Yeah, that's what I was scared about. That's spitting. That attack. It's a big danger to us. Okay, we can't do much, but we're gonna do as... L the little bit we can, we're gonna do. Could summon an elemental, but right now I'm more concerned about the health of my people. And we'll heal these guys as well. These are frozen, so they can't do anything, so we end our turn. Oh no. Might we lose a unit? We lost some people. It was somewhat unavoidable, to be honest. Eventually people will die, it's... It's a sad truth of war. And battle. No, that doesn't help us. Go in defensive mode, as you can't move. We'll heal them. End the turn. Those were the right ones to heal for sure. And let's use our archers first on this. Our summon elemental next, because if it retaliates against that, that's fine. Oh god, they're still standing there, frozen in death. What did we do? More healing. Let us ensure they will not fall. They will be steadfast. And the creature is blinded. And thus it flees. No, we will slay it. It has caused much suffering and death to my people. It will be vanquished from this world. And our peasant pikemen will be held in memory for a long time to come. Frozen lake aftermath. As the sun melts the last of the ice, the sound of quaking, quacking returns to the spring. The white witch fades, her voice faint over cool breeze. I am but a remnant of the queen who once ruled here. She raided the warm lands, preserving all life and ice. Frozen markers led to a treasure vault, but now they melt. You notice in the last traces of ice there is some kind of map detailing the hiding place of a lost treasure. No time to delay, my secrets melt away. The fast melting symbols are nearly gone. Okay, so what what treasure do we find? Gold? A great axe? Mana? Or stability everywhere? I think we find gold. All right. Let us reinforce our lady with some bannermen. And let's start this battle here. Upon arrival at the gold vein, it becomes clear that the spawn of a caustic worm hatched a few days ago. The gold vein is overrun, overrun with the writhing bodies of the young caustic worms. Their corrosive mucus oozes into the nearby fissures. The screech of their sire can be heard echoing from deep tunnels from with the young caustic worms hatched. The young caustic worms have been feasting on Razorback, judging by the partial dissolved remains that litter the area. How could anyone survive this infestation? Is it foolish to believe that Thistle Kingfisher's sibling is still alive? Okay, we could lure them out with food, or we could cover our troops' bodies in caustic worm mucus to repel the young caustic worms. 
Um, I mean, success would be nice. Let's try. Either they're fooled or they're not. Oh, they were fooled. We managed. A troop search the area and tunnels. When they pass a crack beneath the central gold vein, someone whispers, Are they gone? A bannerman crawls out of his hiding spot. I, I knew someone who came looking for me eventually. I had down here for days, I think. Eating larvae and slimy moss to survive. The boy chuckles and produces a satchel. <laughs> but it was worth it. The tunnels surrounding the gold vein are teeming with rubies. The bannerman sighs gratefully. Uh, for rescuing me, please accept the treasure I discovered. My skills are at the service of the wandering wonder river the shepherd. The expertise on metal and stone will make Heart Hollow thrive, maybe? Teach me about the precious stones and metals. I accept your service as a bannerman. I require no, no reward. I'm happy you are safe. I think this is correct. No reward will be needed. All right, let's pull our units back so they get the benefits of healing at home. Well, can't do that here. What to build the next? A vendor. We we need money to continue our growth. Uh, another farm? Yes. I think so. Could also do another forester, maybe. No, no, another farm. The five farms. We could build a herbalist. Per adjacent province domain with a forester or swamp. Well. What does it count as? As a conduit. Do we have a conduit yet? No. A levy camp. Unit deployment location counts as a farm. Uh, plus five food per adjacent farm. So... If we put this thing right there, that'll boost us insanely in food. New Empire Development Skill available. Combat casting points on the world map. Yeah. We do a lot of mana stuff, so best we do that. Other rulers doing stuff. Infestation sends people, so we'll need to go south and defend. I'm not sure entirely where they're coming from. But they will reveal themselves shortly. I'm sure. These are a little bit too much for us at the moment. All of us together can do it, but... How do you have a Watcher? And then a uh, Silver Rank one. I think we need to take care of this still. These two, honestly. Let's let's take care of the one close to our capital city first. Ah, there is the infestation invasion. It'll attack our units here, so that's fine. We produce the vendor and we can annex a new thing. Mm, I think we'll go for the for the swamp farm. Let's see, a town hall, definitely this. Yeah, it's quick. It's f we can afford it. Let's end our turn. Come here, you monster. We'll auto combat this. Lost our thistle boys. We can just reconjure them. And we'll wait at the border of Heart Hollow for our leader. Let's redistribute like this for the moment. Staves of warding we want. Let's get this shield warmer, uh, shield unit. Let's strike those lightning strikes. Sounds good to me. I always enjoyed those. Let's enchant Staves of Warding for upkeep. We can absolutely afford that. So we shall do it. 
center stake has sent a war party. Did I say snake before? I believe I did. Uh, well, we'll deal with all of it in due time. In due course. Worry not. For now, we'll take out the brigand camp here. And then we'll see. Maybe this is a good spot for another city of ours. It looks like it. You know, there's another hidden garden and all kinds of things there. Even some pastures. Maybe some fisheries. Oh no, our scout is dead. <laughs> well, now we know what's coming here. And it ain't pretty. Yep. Alright, we go here first. We'll enter their domain, so they will attack us. Probably. Actually, we can e immediately kill this. We'll auto combat now. Uh, but we'll manual update, upgrade. Let's see, what does he get? Master rejuvenation, absolutely. We want healing focused people. And he gets... What does he get? True sight. Mm, nah, we'll give him defense one. No good reason. No good reason. There is the invasion force. The little creepy crawlies. Alright. As our mind wanders the wilds, our meditations are disrupted by a sudden sense of destruction. We see a fire creations of a pyromancer desolating the forest. The very earth seems to be weep as they are set ablaze, threatening all that grows and blooms. Will we interfere with the Inferno Hound and its army? Uh, yeah, I, I swear this must be destroyed. Where is it? Oh, it's pretty much where we are. So, okay. The, um, let's take care of the thing that's sent to deal with us first. All right. Almost lost the unit, but not quite. And we can do this, so we'll do it. Didn't lose anyone there. Ooh. Ring of Escape, Eagle Boat, the Woven Hammer, Assassin Dagger. That's a lot of stuff that we got there. Let's go. So, the Ring of Escape, definitely for our hero, for our leader. Assassin's Dagger. Um, hmm. Yeah, it might happen that we need it. They might come for us. But all the clicks, all the wrong clicks. Oh. I can never hit this proper. Precision training, accuracy for everyone. Bolstering support, bolstering support. They are supportive. So bolstering support it is for us. Bring these boys in. You get a new bow. Look at that. You get the eagle bow now. Plus 20% accuracy. That's something. And a little bit more damage too. Good stuff. Right there. All right. Archer battlements might be a good idea. As we are being slightly threatened. And next you get a tavern. First you defend, then you build a tavern. That's how it goes. Spells are ready to cast. We could get an entwined thrall down there. For defensive purposes. So he'll just stand there. And we'll see how we deal with all the rest going on. We're a little bit stretched thin at the moment, so. None of these are going to grow this direction, so we don't have to go deep to start setting up camp. And over there is a nice pasture and some ore and stuff with which I want to deal, so. I think we'll send them north because they're not going to catch up to this army group anytime soon. 
So best we do it like this. And we'll add another... Oh, yeah, let's get a Phantasm Warrior there. Add it to that army. Let's do another research, and I think... Magical Wards as a minor race transformation. Lightning and fire and frost resistance. That sounds good. Let's annex another province. Honestly, I think I want to close the gap here. So we'll put a quarry in that direction. I think that's a good idea. Just so we get the road connection and everything. New Empire development skill. Cities may expand provinces located two provinces further than the center. Ooh. Whenever research skills research, knowledge of cost of another random skill is reduced by 25%. That's great and cheap, so we'll take it, and we can take this as well. And we're definitely going to get the sensing range higher, just so we see things lurking in the shadow easier. They will mess with our farms. I will mess with their lives. Sound a little bit more dramatic than it's going to be, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Oh, they're coming south anyway. Come to meet us, eh? Well, let's take care of these fools that come here. Auto combat worked out fine for us. Now let's take care of this. Also, no losses. Very good. Reckless Incinerator's Aftermath. It's a unicorn, just as pristine as majestic as it described the many stories of old. Which gift would we wish the unicorn to, to bestow on us? We could ask it to follow us. Ride it into battle. Or give us some magic essence, I think. I would like it to follow us. Unicorns are amazing. All right, let's clear out some more stuff here. So we can start getting our things in order and we'll let it go. We're not gonna force it. Okay, so our city is under siege. That's suboptimal, especially since it's only two more turns until it falls. So we'll reinforce a little bit with more units. I've never lost a city to independence, but we might now. Right now, we might. <laughs> this is not looking good for us. Um, so what do we learn? Build defenses. That's what we're going to do. Can I annex another province? And I think we're going to go with the Silver Pond. Even more food. And the Imperium. Always nice to have. Um, outpost costs 50% less and take a turn less. So this is good because we're about to do an outpost. <sighs> All right. Um, how do we? How do we? How do we do this? They will not reach here in two. Uh, they will reach in two turns. Okay, good. This is how we're gonna do it then. Let's end our turn. Can we get the sprint? I don't think we can afford it. Nah. Ah well. We'll afford it next turn. That way we can force march them down. And prevent the worst. Alright, let's get this first. Um. Oh, we haven't unlocked it yet. Like, there's not enough full up. We're gonna summon ourselves a spirit wolf in our main city. That's gonna help reinforce down there. Because he can immediately reach this. So now it's a little bit more of an even-ish battle. I'll just keep summoning troops in here. Because I'm just a little bit scared. Uh, this is not going to go the way I would like it to go. Alright, and I think this is just where we're going to build the outpost. Right on the Arcanium Ore. 
Gives us plus 10 mana, plus 10 production. That's pretty good. There's one more thing to clear out. You'll stay there. Yours production is done. Uh, we definitely absolutely need a lot, bunch of things. All right, so per adjacent province and domain with forester or swamp. Don't really have swamps or foresters in this domain. Could get some up there. Could get some over here. But that means sacrificing a farm. And we're not about that. Later, maybe. For now, what do we do? Stonemason? A market? A library? Let's do that. It's it's the cheapest and the quickest. More invading forces for us. Good stuff. We're dealing so, so well with the ones that we got. Ay, 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 ay. All right, we'll we'll manual combat this. Auto combat might work, but it also mightn't. All right, so let's see. Uh, battlements are good for us. Can only be damaged by units with demolisher. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both our shield units in here. And put them on shield mode. Well, actually, we're going to put them like this. Our wolf goes between. Like that. And our somewhat archers are going to go here. Because there they got uh, the... See here, the... Fortified, they get the vantage point, so extra, extra range, and they are obscured. And we will not be able to cast anything in this, which is a bit of an issue. All right, our spirit wolf, what can it do? It can just attack and bite and stuff. So we'll attack and bite and stuff. This one has lightning weakness, so there's where we strike first. These boys go there. And these boys will defend the other boys. Oh, we can actually cast. Why can we cast? That's interesting. Okay, let's get these going. So we make it a little bit more confusing for the enemy. And they waste a few attacks. Very good. And... Let's start here. Oh yeah, they're all flanked now. Good stuff. We could kill them. So I think we should take this opportunity to kill them. Let's get some... Now we're gonna win this, so we don't need to heal the wolf. It's it's gonna resurrect if it dies. All right. Let's do some flanking here. Let's do some throwing first. Ah, there we go. Okay. Well done, us. Managed to build up just the right army to prevent utter humiliation. <laughs> All right, then we'll clear out the area down there.
And you guys need to build those uh, arcane battlements. And you guys can go clear this out. Well, auto combat, I think. Yeah, that's fine by us. Move over there. Uh, we definitely build... Oh, we already have the Palisade Wall. Right, 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 right. That was one of the upgrades. Uh, so since we can't make it into a city anyway, uh, let's build a work camp. Let's do that. And you can just move a little bit over there. Just check out the area. But it looks like we're fine. You guys all sit there. Uh, you please continue exploring. How is there nothing for you to explore? Right, what do we build? So many options. So many things to do. So many stuff we need. I'm well, thinking the market. Let's get some more money in. Outpost was founded. Yes, I know. Uh, Vula leveled up. Sure thing. And so many options. Experienced leader. Let's get that early on so the units in the army keep growing and becoming much better. Should potentially swap out one of those for the unicorn, but... Oh, yes, a new rally has started. Uh, that's a good thing for us. We could use some more units. Let's get ourselves a battle mage. A healer. A... Uh, an archer. And that's that for the moment. Uh, we could reinforce our, our vassal. But I think that's a good idea. Mm. Let's get them this. There. You get that. You have been good to us. And you just re returned our whispering stone anyway. So thistle down. We're working on these still. We're working on Castellan. And that seems to be going well. I don't think there's anyone else to work on for us. These guys are just angry. Angry little boys. All right, what happened here? Duchess should pull the of Thistledown comes to us with a request of high importance. Jordan Taylor and I of Castellan share a long and lasting friendship. She once saved me from a bordering hunt. We have been allies ever since. I would just, I would trust Jordan Taylor with my life, and I believe Castellan would make a great ally for us as well. The the wandering wonder river, the shepherd. I know, she would be honored to join in your grand quest. We try and forge that. Yes. Uh, sure. What do we need to do? Vassalage with Castellan. I believe we're working on that anyway. Uh, where, where, where is Castellan? There. We're working on that. Pact of loyalty. Pact of vassalage. That's where we want to go. Can't boost the allegiance right now. But we're almost over on the next thing. So in two turns we got... That, I think that's in cards. Let's move in here and check out all the things that we need to get rid of. And now let's free our sheep from the quill boar menace. Auto combat that. And I think we'll go south now and try and take care of that infestation there. Magical wards, very good. Tome of Amplification, Amplified Arrows. Mm -hmm. Astral Blood. Increases hi critical hit chance with spells. Conjure Amplification, po uh, Pylon. Those are fun. Those are really fun. I had those before. I like them. Um, Amplify Minds. Now let's check out 
what we can do in nature. Yeah, I think we get the leaf skin and everything like that. That seems like us. We are one with the forest and stuff. Okay, so we are next new thing. What do we are next? This farm there. Or a forester. And we do need a forester eventually, so we'll build this forester there. Let's get the magical wards transformation going. Yeah. Probably should have checked who's sending what, but yeah, we'll see in a moment anyway. I'll also build the stone walls in this city before we upgrade it. Still cheap and faster. There's an infestation creeping around in our lands, but first we clear out all these areas. Why is there so little in there? Okay, they don't want to fight, they just want to go. They can, I allow it. These guys are probably going to fight. We lost our unicorn. Is this an acceptable price? I don't think so. We will go in and retry this manually. Oh no, not one of those. Alright, okay, this is this is gonna be bad. Alright, okay. Alright, right, 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 right. Let's open a flank here. And we'll pull in these boys. To defend like that. And these boys to defend like that. And our unicorn will go here and defend like that. Now our defenders will go and defend here. Our knights will go here, turn like that, and wait to do something sensible. Our bannerman will go there and wait for the moment until we have brought in everyone else, like so. Our ruler mm, will go there. And can we heal up over there? Yes, we'll immediately cast the restore. So we get the early regeneration bonus. Now these guys turn like that and defend. And this will end our turn. Alright, okay, so they're not coming that way. So we can move this way. Do we run in an attack? No. We'll turn like this. Put both of our shield man like that. Bring in them. Bring in them. Start shooting the wargs. Now this thing can get behind our lines. Uh, we definitely need to be aware of that. And I close the corridor for our... for our cavalry. That wasn't ideal, but this thing is blind now, so huh, kudos to us. I think we'll send our cavalry all the way around. Like so. And these guys will give us bolstered defenses here. And the unicorn will simply stay there. These guys will simply stay there. And these guys will move up one space. No more. Turn. Stand like that. We'll get a bunch of these vines around here. Like so. And now we'll end it. Everyone go into defensive mode. Definitely need to get rid of the caster. Okay, very good. It, it used its thing on, on our vines. Very good, very good, very good. That's all pretty decent. Let's bring them in there. We'll take that damage. And these guys will clean them out. Causing us damage and condemnation. So we'll do this. Everyone get some stuff back. Oh, big flanking attack here. Nice. Well done. 
Uh, let's summon the ele elemental. Right now, it's much more sensible for us than anything else. Let's bring the unicorn down there. Start some flanking maneuvers. And we'll bring in our pike. How far can they go? Okay, we'll bring in our pike here. And our archers will shoot these things. And these guys will just defend. And this guy turns and also defends. And we'll cause get another round of these guys. Yep, that's what I like to see. Fight the silly stuff instead of me, please. Thank you. All right. So we could bring these in for flanking, but I think we'd rather bring them on in the in the boost area. These will go in for flanking. And these should finish them now. Yes, they did. Bringing down some condemnation. Let's bring these guys in for some bolstering defenses and resistances. We'll bring these guys to protect against the flank. We'll bring these guys to flank. And we'll bring in these guys to potentially end these. And so we did. Let's bring this thing in. to do that didn't freeze it but didn't need to let's bring in our main boy throw some regeneration on our frontline army uh, these guys already did their thing this thing can walk so we lost it now I'm being very overly cautious with it so we'll teleport it over there and can we cast anything else interesting? Mark of invulnerability. Nah. We're fine. I think. We can just end the turn here. Alrighty, very good. Let's take care of all this stuff. Our unicorns. Go to this. These guys do this. Let's bring out these guys. Clear a path for everyone else. Well, that's actually not what they're doing. But it was a nice idea, wasn't it? Very good. Nothing dies. Losing our unicorn, silly PC. Silly, silly, silly. You guys just stay there a little bit longer. Uh, you will defend at home for now. Yeah. Oh, actually, you don't have to stay there any longer. You can attack. So, attack you shall. Let's auto combat through there. Nothing lost. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's set some protection. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Unlocking the knights. The knights have been good to us. Let's enchant with the magical wards and also give that to our leader. Very good. So now they're all a little bit spiky. Magic spiky. We are very good now. And that's that for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Maybe a comment. See you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.